Hey guys, Nick Laufenberg here from Vortex Optics. Today we're going to talk about the Radian tripods, how you can utilize them for shooting in the field. You may have noticed I have my rifle mounted into this tripod. Now where this is handy is if you need to get your rifle up off the ground and also maintain some level of stability. Now as a military or law enforcement professional or a hunter or a competition shooter, the main reason why you'd want to get your rifle higher is to get over some type of obstacle. This type of tripod system allows you to do that very well. Now there's going to be several different ways to actually attach your rifle to your tripod. Uh, there's a lot of different chassis on the market today that have an integral Arca Swiss rail attached. Uh, there are also other uh, more traditional style stocks that have an Arca rail on the bottom. Those can be attached aftermarket or come that way. The other alternative would be have a clamping system on your tripod that the rifle will sit in. The new Radian tripod comes standard with an Arca footprint head. The Radian tripod comes in two different configurations. This one here we have the ball head. Now the ball head is really beneficial when you have very high angle shots up or down. Now, the nice thing here as well is that once you lock it into place, it does have a panning feature. So it's locked down, up and down. But with that loosened, I can now go left and right without adjusting my elevation. The second configuration that the Radian tripod comes in is with just a simple leveling head. Now where a leveling head becomes very handy is if you don't need a ton of elevation adjustment in your cant, but instead just want something very simple, very rock solid. When I lock this into place, the gun doesn't move. It'll wiggle, but always return back to where I locked it to. There's a lot of right ways to shoot off a tripod, a lot of wrong ways to shoot off a tripod. These methods work well for me, and this is why I'm sharing it with you. So whenever possible, I like to have the legs orientated like this, with two legs facing back towards me. Now with the legs in this position, if I were to fire a shot, the rifle will come straight back and straight forward. Now with the fundamentals of marksmanship, one of the most important ones to remember is follow through. Uh, follow through consistent from shot to shot. Now if I were to have one leg positioned straight back, it would add a level of inconsistency to my follow through. Now if you're trying to be very accurate off a tripod, building a very stable foundation is extremely important. When I get behind the rifle, I like to square my shoulders directly up to the target. Legs spread just a little bit apart and use my body to lean into the gun. Now we wanna do this so that when we lean into the gun, that we're putting our weight straight forward. Not off to the side, not left, right, straight forward. Now when that gun recoils, it should come straight back and then straight back forward again. Now there's quite a few different methods to shooting off of a tripod and how to get a lot of stability. I'm gonna show you a few right now. Now this first method involves taking your support arm, in this case I'm right-handed, so my left hand is my support arm, and crossing it over in front of me, grabbing the right leg. Then I pull that leg back towards me as I anchor into the rifle with my shoulders. Of course, still trying to keep my shoulders squared up to the target. Another way I like to stabilize my rifle when shooting off of a tripod, especially in a rifle like this, very heavy rifle, very low recoil, is to reach forward with my support hand and pinch the intersection of the tripod and the rifle. This allows me to get down into position, squared up to my target, and relieve quite a bit of pressure from my shoulder, reducing my wobble a lot. This gives you very uh, precise grouping and accuracy downrange. Another popular way to stable out a rifle on a tripod is to reach up with your support hand and place it over top of the scope. Now we're not really looking forward to push down really hard on the system, but at this point we're very stable once we're on target. Another great way to lock this system down tight is by use of a sling. Now if I lock this sling up into the front of the forehand, wrap it around this support side leg, I can use it much like a throttle, tightening it down to lock it into place. The Radian tripod allows you to spread the legs out further and decrease the height to something like this, allowing you to take a seat behind the rifle and get a little bit more stable yet. Now in a position like this, I can still square up to my target and break a very clean shot without any problem. So another way to get a little bit extra support out of a seated position is to use something like your backpack as a rear support. All right, folks, well, that wraps up shooting off of tripods. If you have any questions, feel free to hit the comments below. You can also visit our social media platforms. Uh, we have a great customer care team. You can email in info at vortexoptics.com or call our 1-800 number. Remember, we're always here to help.